Good evening and welcome to the new Castle Field House for tonight's consolation game of the 2014 Hall of Fame Classic. Kevin Conrad along with Brent Nickerson, we welcome you to our live coverage of Center Grove Lady Trojan Basketball. Center Grove earlier today lost a tough one to the Mooresville Pioneers, 51 to 42. Tonight's opponent for the Trojans, Gary West, they lost to the number one team in Class 2A, the number three team in the state, and Heritage Christian in a, in a close one, 78-74. So Gary Westside and Center Grove meeting here in the consolation game. And Britt Nickerson earlier today, the Lady Trojans, just uh, too many turnovers and too many fouls against the Mooresville Pioneers. Yeah, it was tough to overcome. I think they had 23 turnovers and only went to the foul line eight times, where Mooresville went 33 times and made 27 of them. Uh, Mooresville outscored Center Grove by 24 points at the free throw line alone. So that in combination with shooting 29% and having 23 turnovers is, is too much to overcome. The good part about it, Center Grove has a chance to bounce back same day to try to make things better here in the second game of the Hall of Fame Classic against a very good Gary West Side team. Uh, Branch, you look at their record, seven and four. They're not ranked, but uh, <laughs> not indicative how good this uh, Gary West Side team is. No, they looked very good against Heritage Christian, and a little deceiving. They're seven and four, uh, but the four losses are all to undefeated squads. So uh, they lost to Bedford North Lawrence, who's obviously undefeated, ranked number one. Heritage Christian, ranked number three, or excuse me, number one in class 2A, number three overall. Fort Wayne Canterbury and South Bend St. Joseph, last year's champion here. So a um, little bit deceiving on the record of 7-4. and four. They're a very, very good team, as we saw against Heritage Christian earlier. Starting tonight first for the visiting Center Grove Trojans. The guards will be Jessica Norris, a senior. The point guard, Lauren Rao, a junior. Across the front line, senior Reagan Wetland, along with Allie Line and also Bree Gleesman. Started tonight for the Cougars of Gary Westside. Dana Evans, only a sophomore, averaging 21 points a ball game. She's a special talent for this Gary Westside team. Also starting tonight for the Cougars, Jerrica Neal, Amari Ferguson, Ashley Danzi, and Lexis Fox. Fox averaging 14 points a game, and Brent, she was impressive against Heritage Christian earlier today. Yeah, she was very good. 14 of 20 from the field, 30 points against Heritage Christian, which is very tough to do. But um, the girl that makes him go is Dana Evans, the guard. She's ranked number one in her class, according to ESPN, in the class of 2017. And she will pull up from well beyond the three-point arc, and then they have a good inside game with Lexus Fox as well. So Center Grove's in for a tough matchup, but we'll see, what, uh, see how Center Grove comes out. Head coach for Gary Westside, Rodney Fisher, in his 31st season as head coach of the Cougars. Impressive numbers, 488 wins, 129 losses, a 79% winning percentage for Fisher at Gary West. And uh, he is the third winning as coach in Indiana in girls basketball, 607 wins. He has won 76% of his games. Again, uh, just a great one in Rodney Fisher, the head coach for Gary Westside. Yeah, very impressive numbers across the board for all these coaches here at the Hall of Fame Classic, and none better than uh, Coach Fisher, 607 and 185. Uh, that's pretty tough in 31 years, and I think another stat I've seen, they haven't lost uh, more than seven games in 14 each straight years or something like that. Um, so very impressive numbers for Gary Westside and Coach Fisher. Coach Sean Sanders in his seventh season as head coach of the Trojans, 73 wins, 48 losses. 31 and 10 record over the past couple of seasons as the head coach of the Trojans. Center Grove won a sectional back in the 2010-2011 season. Center Grove will be the visiting team here in the consolation game in the red uniforms trimmed in white. Gary Westside in the white uniforms trimmed in navy blue and orange and the tip is controlled by the Center Grove Trojans. Lauren Rao will set up the offense as Allie Line won the tip. We'll see if Center Grove tried to work it inside a little bit more than they did this morning. They shot 26 three-pointers and only 28 two-point field goals, and there we go. Take it inside. Good pass from Allie Line to Gleesman for the first two. Center Grove leads 2-0. Good patience. Assist goes to Line. Again, Gleesman cutting to the basket with the wide-open layup. 2-0 Trojans. Center Grove starts out in a zone defense. 
Penetration down the lane and throwing it up and in is Ferguson. Ties the game at two apiece. A quick three is good. Norris with a three for the Trojans. Much faster start than this morning. We were stuck on two for a long time, already have five. One minute now into the first quarter. This is the consolation matchup. Championship game later tonight will feature Heritage Christian against Mooresville. The Cougars go inside to Fox. She tried, tried to power it in and she missed it. Another three by Norris. This time she rimmed it. Rebound Lexus Fox. Some nifty moves by Fox. Nice crossover dribble. Misses though on the layup. Out of bounds. It belongs to the Cougars. Fox not very big at five foot six, Brent, but uh, very agile on her feet and very, very strong around the basket. Yeah, she finishes very well. She did against Heritage Christian and shown some good moves there. She did not finish, but it's kind of hard when Allie Lyons and uh, Reagan Wentland are waiting on her inside the paint. Evans, the sophomore, tries a runner, missed it. Out of bounds, Cinegrove will have it on that far sideline. Cinegrove in front, five to two. Gleesman with the basket and Norris with a three-pointer. Two points for the Cougars, Ferguson. Full court pressure by the Cougars. Center Grove does a great job handling the pressure and they get a layup out of it. <laughs> Jessica Norris scores her fifth point. Center Grove was able to shred the uh, full court press. And Norris scores easily, makes it seven to two Trojans. A 30 second timeout call by Coach Fisher. Yeah, it looked like a diamond in one trap or a press and they forgot about it on the back end and Jessica Norris had an easy layup to make the score seven to two Center Grove. Tonight's opening quarter being presented by Cinegrove Aqua Systems. Is your water hard? Does it taste bad? Is it damaging your fixtures and your appliances? If you'd like to find out more about how you can improve your home's water, talk to Cinegrove Aqua Systems located on State Road 135, just south of Stone Creek Restaurant. Aqua Systems is owned and operated by Cinegrove families, and their equipment is made right here in central Indiana. Check them out online at ilovemywater.com. Back to action, the Cougars with the basketball, a triple team on the baseline on Ferguson. Whistle and a turnover. Yeah, forced Lexus uh, Fox to take a step there out of the, had a good pass out of the triple team and then she turned it over and gives the ball back to Center Grove. Center Grove by five with the basketball line down the lane, goes back to Gleesman with the pass and Gleesman couldn't handle the pass, out of bounds. Center Grove missed opportunity. Again, the Trojans trying to regroup after a tough morning game against uh, the Mooresville Pioneers. Again, 23 turnovers, 26 fouls, and uh, actually the Pioneers were able to score 27 points, 27 of the 51 team points from the free throw line. Center Grove off to a much better start here in the consolation game against Gary Westside. Evans sets up the offense, working against the zone defense. Penetration by Danzy, put up a wild shot, missed it. Fox with the rebound, she tries to put it in and good interior defense, she uh, missed it badly. Here come the Trojans. Yeah, I like seeing Center Grove push the ball. Uh, earlier they kind of settled in and played a slow down game and it cost them a little bit. And this, today they're attacking the basket. Great drive there by Reagan Wentland for two. Nine to two Center Grove. First basket for Reagan Wentland. Center Grove by seven. So far the zone defense working very well here for Center Grove. Evans from downtown, a long three, missed it off the back point. She hit one of those, or actually two of those, earlier in the day game against Heritage Christian. Quick shot for the Trojans by Wentland. Missed it. On the weak side, we have a whistle and a foul called against the Trojans. Yeah, good weak side rebound there by Bree Gleesman. Then they got her for an offensive foul, but good energy so far by Center Grove. Center Grove on a 7-0 run. Leading nine to two with five minutes to play in the opening quarter. Center Grove looks like a three-two zone defense, and now a travel by Dana Evans. Tried to split two defenders and took one too many steps. That was a pretty good move. She just took one one too many. You're right. Rao. To line at the midcourt line, back to Rao into the front court with the dribble. Rao will set up the offense. Cougars playing the man to man defense. Norris to Gleesman, cross court pass. 
to line. She'll dribble down the lane. Off to Norris for a three, swish. Uh, good kick out pass there by Allie Line. Good penetration and kick, and Norris knocks it down for her second three, I believe. Eight points for Norris, 12-2, Trojans by 10. Center Grove off to a great start here in the Constellation game. Baseline drive, foul called against Reagan Wentland. Number one on Wentland, number two against the Trojans. Could be a couple of couple of free throws. Free throw is good. That free throw puts an end to a 10-0 run by the Trojans. Is that Neal with both yes. free throws? Yes. Okay. Jerrica Neal. Jerrica Neal. Makes it now a 12 to four ball game. Yeah, they found Gleesman cutting down the middle. A great pass fake to the wing and took it up, but it got deflected out of bounds to center Grove. Wentland will throw it in, trying to find somebody. She'll throw it all the way to the backcourt to Rao, who brings it across the timeline. Four minutes to play, first quarter. Center Grove 12. Gary Westside, four, and Wentland with a nice drive. Found a nice lane all the way to the basket, scores. Four points for Wentland. Trojans back in front by 10, 14-4. Yeah, Reagan tried to do that in the first game, and Mooresville did a great job of stopping it. So far, so good for Reagan in the second game. Evans, another long three, hit that back point of the rim. Grove with the rebound, Rao will Come into the front court quickly, off to Norris, who hits another three. She's hit three of them. 11 points for Norris. 17-4 Trojans. 3.20 to play opening quarter. Ferguson to Evans. She'll penetrate the lane, puts up the runner, missed it. Rebound saved by the Cougars. Right into the hands of Danzy. She tried to score, missed it, but the weak side rebound by Evans is good. Yeah, great hustle by Amari Ferguson to save it initially, and it ended up in the hands of Dana Evans, and she gets her first two. Norris, another three. This time it's short. Weak side rebound, a battle for it. Ashley Danzy pulls it out for the Cougars. Cross-court pass to Fox. Pull-up jump shot is no good by Fox. Alley line with the rebound. Rao. Down the lane, off to Wentland behind a three-point arc. Couple of dribbles, cross-court pass. Norris, little give and go right back to Norris. She scores on the layup. She's fouled by Ashley Danzy. A chance for Norris to get a three-point play. 13 points for Norris. Brent, totally different totally look here different. for Center Grove. Yeah, Gary Westside looks a little slow on their feet right now. I, mean, I don't know if they Spent a lot of energy against Heritage Christian or what, but they do not look very energetic, and Center Grove does, and hence a 19-6 lead. Free throw is good. 14 points for Norris. She has 14 of the team's 20. Trojans lead at 20 to 6 with 2.33 to play. In the opening quarter, a full timeout called. Center Grove, again, off a fantastic start here in the consolation game. Brent, never easy to play in the consolation game to kind of keep your focus. Uh, you're playing for third place. And Center Grove, though, I think trying to prove something to themselves after coming out here in the day game, not playing its best, and trying to, to kind of recapture what they're capable of doing. And so far here in the first quarter, they've looked uh, just brilliant. Yeah, I don't think this morning was indicative of what Center Grove uh, girls basketball is all about. They did not play well. They turned the ball over, uh, did not turn up the pressure on defense. And, uh, you know, this afternoon, totally opposite. Um, they look very good. They're penetrating lanes, kickouts, or knocking down threes. Um, so far, they haven't had to pressure on defense yet, but they haven't needed to. You know, they've set back in the zone, and Gary Westside has not hit very many shots yet. But I think right now it's about pride for Center Grove. They want to show these fans, and they're playing for their community too. And so far, uh, you know, out, out to 20 to 6 lead. The 2014 Hall of Fame Classic is now the 30. First one that they've had on the girls' side of things. This is the 25th one to be played here at the Newcastle Fieldhouse. The Hall of Fame just across the way on Trojan Way. 
Allison Utter back now in for Center Grove. Center Grove in front, 20 to six. Cougars with the basketball. Neal tries a long one from the corner, missed it. Rebound by the Trojans, Utter back with the rebound. Trying to keep Norris hot. She touched it a couple of times, now they go to line. She'll dribble baseline, bounce pass cross court to Norris out on top. Rao passes up a three around the perimeter. Wentland fires a three, in and out, no good. Line offensive rebound, her put back doesn't go. And Line tips it back out though to keep it alive. It's great ball movement. Rao resets the offense. Wentland high right side. Couple of dribbles off to Utterback. She'll fire a three. Missed it on the rebound. Cougars pushing quickly is Ferguson. And Ferguson is called for calling the basketball. Gleesman back in for the Trojans, replacing line. And we'll see also for the Trojans, Cass Harden now in for the first time tonight. 20 to six, Sinegro by 14. 90 seconds to play here in the opening quarter of the consolation game. Now the Cougars, Brent switching to a zone defense. Yep. Looks like a 2-3 zone. Wentland takes off too soon, travels with the basketball. Tried to penetrate on the wing and took off too soon. Didn't, didn't get the dribble down in time. Danzi goes baseline, pass into the middle to Fox, who was cutting to the basket. Fox a little bit too far under the basket, missed the shot. Chasing that for the loose ball, it went out off the foot of Fox. Senegrove will have it. Yeah, great hustle by both teams, and Alexis Fox just knocked it off her foot and out of bounds. Again, she played an unbelievable game this morning, 14 of 20 from the field for 30 points and was game high. One minute to play, first quarter. Nice pass from Wentland to Gleesman, and she just rolled it off. She was cutting to the basket to the right side and could not put it down. Fox comes back the other way, and great job by Harden to stand her ground, forcing Fox to, to miss, and Sinegrove in transition. Gleesman scores. Great pass by Lauren Rao. Sinegrove just looks like a different team. They look so much more composed here uh, at nighttime in this consolation game, just more relaxed. Nice shot by Ferguson on a putback. Four points for Ferguson. 22-8 Trojans cutting to the basket. Wentland Good scores. Back, uh, Good pass, pass by Gleesman. Wentland six points. 24-8 Trojans. 14 seconds to play for his quarter. Long shot miss by Evans. Cougars with the offensive board. Who else? Lexus Fox with the rebound. Again, only 5'6", but she's so strong. She gets a lot of offensive boards and putbacks. Foul called against the Trojans going against Wentland. This is 5'6", and had 30 points and 10 rebounds <laughs> against a pretty good size and athletic heritage Christian team. 9 seconds to play here in the opening quarter. Quick shot off the out-of-bounds play. It's an air ball. Gleesman with the rebound. Outlet pass. Goes to Utterback. She's going to fire a three from long range. Missed it. And that brings us to the end of the first quarter. And Center Grove, very impressive in the opening quarter against Gary Westside in the consolation game of the Hall of Fame Classic, leading 24 to 8. And Brent, boy, this has been nice to have seen Center Grove play like this against Mooresville earlier today. Again, the Trojans play tight. They uh, committed a lot of turnovers and fouls against the uh, Pioneers, but uh, just a lot more relaxed, a lot more confident here in game two against Gary Westside. Yeah, they look a lot more aggressive in taking the ball to the basket, which is creating some kick outs and some layups. And this morning we didn't have that. And it, I don't know if it's you know, partially Center Grove and what they chose to do offensively and settle for some perimeter shots, or if it was Mooresville. Obviously, Mooresville's defense was good too. So. Um, I don't know which it is or if it's a combination of both, but it's a, a totally different ball game today. Our opening half being presented by Cinegrove Aqua Systems. Is your water hard? Does it taste bad? Is it damaging your fixtures or your appliances? If you'd like to find out more about how you can improve your home's water, talk to Cinegrove Aqua Systems located on State Road 135, just south of Stone Creek Restaurant. Aqua Systems, 
is owned and operated by Centergrove families, and their equipment is made right here in central Indiana. Stop by and let their friendly, non-commissioned staff help you get your questions answered. Give them a call, 889-6829, or visit them online at ilovemywater.com. Centergrove Aqua Systems. Really appreciate Don Line and his team there at Aqua Systems being uh, one of our sponsors for the Hall of Fame Classic webcast. Back to action, missed shot by the Cougars and then a jump ball. Malisha Chrysler, Chrysler now in the game for West Side. Got tied up by one of the Trojans. I believe that was Emma LaMasters who just checked into the game to start the quarter. LaMasters handling the ball high left side. Goes to Rao with the pass. Rao to the left wing to Cass Harden, to Gleesman. Now to line. Nice pass to the baseline, out on top, a three on the way. It is no good, missed by LeMasters. Cougars in transition on the fast break. Evans trying to draw the foul, does on the rebound. Another try for the Cougars, and finally the Trojans pull it down. Lauren Rao in the backcourt across midcourt, fouled from behind by Dana Evans. First foul against Evans. Yeah, Evans is very frustrated right now. She's having trouble finding the basket, and then she commits a foul here, and she had something to say to the ref. So I can tell she's a little frustrated here in the second quarter. Evans only two points thus far. She averages 21 points per game. To the basket for the Trojans. LeMasters lost the handle of it. Cougars push quickly with Ferguson down the lane. Scoop shot is no good. Rebound Chrysler. Her put back doesn't go. Rebound Gleesman. She's knocked to the floor. Foul called against Gary Westside. All of a sudden, the tempo is picking up and also it's becoming a lot more physical. <laughs> Gleesman went to the floor hard there. That foul was on Jarek and Neal for Gary Westside, her first. Team's third. Norris in for Cass Harden. Norris, 14 points in that opening quarter. And Evans pressing by herself. She gets the steal, and then she is fouled on her way to the basket. Evans single-handedly made that play happen. She'll get two free throws. She stole the inbounds pass and was fouled from behind by LeMasters, her first. Free throw by Evans is good. Three points for Evans. Evans very fast, very, very quick. Only a sophomore. Yeah, she showed some spurts in that first game very quick to get in transition. 78% from the free throw line. Next one also good. She shoots 52% from the field. 24-10. Sinegro by 14 points. Low Masters mishandled the basketball, lost the dribble. Cougars trying to score in transition. A wild shot by Ferguson on that weak side. We have a now a timeout called as the Masters picked up the loose ball, and she was a little bit of trouble trying to find some room to make an outlet pass, and Coach Sanders calls a timeout with 6.38 to play in the second quarter. Center Grove 24, Gary Westside 10. For the Trojans, three players doing all the scoring. Norris has 14 of the 10 of the 24 points. Wentland with six and Gleesman with four. It's getting a little more physical as we move into the second quarter here. And that's one of the reasons Center Grove called a timeout just to calm them down a little bit. They're starting to get a little bit frustrated with the physicality that Gary Westside's putting on them now. And here we go with the full court press. Westside trying to create some turnovers. They get the ball inbounds to Wentlin and she makes a nice pass underneath to Norris and her shot was blocked out of bounds. Senegrove will throw it in on the baseline. Wentlin, Wentlin will throw it in. Good play to recover there by Jerick and Neal for Gary Westside. Rao will set up the offense. Deep left corner, Norris. Bounce pass Gleesman right back to Norris on the give and go and Norris right at the rim. Just missed. Wow, she is so, so fast. Is fast. Dana Evans runs the court so well, pushing, and she's not able to finish on the layup. 
Cinegrove with the basketball. Rao to Norris. Out on top, Line. She'll drive to the basket, and on a jump stop, they're going to call travel against Line. Good, strong take by Line. But they call her for steps. Yeah, I think she just shuffled her feet on her jump stop. It was a good move. Center Grove's doing a much better job of moving the basketball and moving and cutting, and Gary Westside's having trouble keeping up. Center Grove leads it by 14. 5.50 to play second quarter, and now traveling called against Fox. One thing about Westside, you cannot count them out. They were down by double digits most of the game against Heritage Christian and then cut it and only lost by four. Yeah, they were down 71 to 53 at one point, down by 18 and made a huge comeback there in the fourth quarter. Rao is surprised from behind by Ferguson. Ferguson tips it away. Evans cross court pass on the fast break. It was knocked out of bounds by the Trojans. I think that was Jessica Norris knocking that one out of bounds. Otherwise, that would have been an easy two points for the Cougars. Off the out of bounds play, Danzies fouled. We'll be out to line to shoot two. That foul's called on Alley Line of Center Grove. Her second, team fifth. Free throw is good by Ashley Danzy. Shoots really well from the free throw line at 83%. Line will get a breather, replaced by Allison Utterback. Center Grove has not scored here in the second quarter as the next one also good by Danzy. Makes it now a 24-12 ball game. Center Grove in front, five and a half minutes to play. Opening half, Trojans looking for that first basket here in the second quarter. Wentland with a nice drive down the lane. On her way up, she was fouled. Reagan at the line to shoot a couple. That was called on Dana Evans. Gary Westside, their, her first. Excuse me, her second, team fourth. Free throw by Wentland is good. First point for the Trojans here in the second quarter. Coming with 5.26 to play. Wentland's second is also good. Eight points now for Wentland on the night. Evans shoots another long three. Long once again. Gleesman clears for the Trojans. Rao outlet pass to Norris. Fouled on the way up. Norris will get two free throws. Norris, 14 points, one to one from the free throw line. She'll get two, three, two free throws here. The foul is called on Jerrica Neal of Gary Westside. Free throw by Norris, nothing but net. Fifteen points for the senior as she sets for the next one. She got it as well. Looks so good on those free throws. 28-12 Trojans. Five minutes remaining, first half. Nice job, backdoor cut, wide open. Yeah, good cut Ferguson. there by Amari Ferguson. They found Amari her for a basket. Ferguson. Six points now. She had 18 points in, in this morning's game against Heritage Christian. Fox with a great recognition. Gleesman tries a three, left it short on the rebound. The Cougars, Evans pulls it down. Dana Evans, she'll take it down the lane, throws it off the glass and scores. Six points for Evans. 28-16 Trojans. Lauren Rao gets to the basket and scores her first basket. 30 to 16 Center Grove. And now Fox scores in the left pivot. Up and down. Each team trading some baskets here. Fox gets her first basket. 30 to 18, a timeout on the court. A 30 second timeout call. 420 to play here in the second quarter. And Center Grove's been able to maintain its double digit lead here throughout the second quarter, but uh, Gary Westside playing much better. Yeah, they are, and they're starting to pick up the, the transition speed and tempo as well. And I have to keep an eye on uh, Lexis Fox. She looks injured after that play, and I see her bending down a little bit in some pain here in the, in the timeout too, so we'll keep an eye on Lexis Fox. 
Yeah, I think on that shot that she just hit, she may have taken an elbow to the rib cage area. Tough young lady staying out there. Great competitor. We were real impressed with her game in the day game against Heritage Christian. Yeah, her Ferguson and uh, Dana Evans, 30, 18, and 17 against a very good team. Pretty impressive. Center Grove with the basketball. Utter back, throws it cross court to Wentland. Wentland tried to split it two defenders and travels with the basketball. Tough move for Wentland. Trojans by 12, four minutes to play in the second quarter here at the Newcastle Fieldhouse. Hall of Fame classic consolation game. Drive by Ferguson, she's fouled. That one on Reagan Wentland. Yeah, that'll be two on Reagan. Cassidy Harden checks back in the game, replacing Allison Utterback. That first game today, Wentland, well, she only had four points, but I think she had seven rebounds, four blocks, and four steals. So it was a pretty solid game for Reagan. I know she was frustrated because she couldn't drive to the basket like she wanted to, but still had a pretty good solid day. Timeout called, full timeout. Trojans lead it 30 to 18. Center Grove led 24 to eight after the first quarter. So far the Cougars have outscored the Trojans 10 to six here in the second quarter. Jessica Norris, senior, hot in that first quarter. What did she have, Brent, in that first quarter? 13, 14 points, something yeah, like that? Yeah, she's up to 16 now, so I, think, I believe she had 13 in the first quarter. And uh, While well, she's hot from the threes, they're also doing a better job of getting the ball to the basket. I know they only have 14 points in the paint in the morning game, and now they're making a concentrated effort to get to the basket. I bet they have 14 or 16 already in this game. Dana Evans was six for West Side, along with Amari Ferguson was six. Cougars with the basketball following the timeout. Little give and go, and scoring is Fox. Nice play designed by Coach Fisher coming out of that timeout. 10 point lead for the Trojans, 30 to 10, 30 to 20, I should say. Three and a half minutes to play here in the second quarter. Rowell kills her dribble off to Wentland. Now to Gleesman in the high post. Cross court pass to Harden. Back to Rowell. High left side. Norris, spin dribble. Bounce pass out on top. She led Wentland too much. Over and back, out of bounds called against the Trojans. Good pressuring defense on the perimeter by Gary Westside. Yep, Gary Westside's picking up the tempo for sure on defense. and. Probably saw the game this morning. I want to force some turnovers for Center Grove, and there was one uh, right there. So Center Grove just needs to calm down and handle it. Right back inside to Fox. Oh, she is good down low. Scores again, six points. Lead cut to eight. Center Grove needs a basket. Just under three minutes to play in the second quarter. They do a give and go back to Gleesman, and she gets a right-handed layup. Nice play by the Trojan. Six points for Gleesman. Yeah, with that aggressive defense, they're overplaying sometimes, leading to several back doors so far for Center Grove. They got to use that the rest of the night if they're going to overplay. Ten-point advantage for the Trojans. Two and a half minutes to play here in the first half. Three-pointer by Ferguson is good. Nine points for Ferguson. 32-25, Center Grove by seven. Lauren Rao pull up jump shot on the baseline. In and out, no good. good. Wentland oh. offensive board and puts it in. Yeah, Banked good in. hustle, good foul by Reagan Wentland. 10 points for Wentland. 34 25. Center Grove by nine. Two minutes to play. Opening half. Center Grove going back to the zone defense. Norris and Rao playing the wings. In that middle is Wentland. Three is good. Ferguson drains her second three in a row. 12 points for Ferguson. 34-28, Center Grove by six. Yeah, she hit some big baskets earlier today in the, in the morning game, so need to step out on Ferguson. 90 seconds to play. 
Opening half, Rao penetrates the lane, leaves open Harden for a three, and Harden drills it. Big shot by Harden, her first basket. Deep three by Evans. Evans missed everything, out of bounds. Grove in front, 37-28, with a minute 20 to play here in the first half. Fox gets a much-deserved breather. Ashley Danzi will check back in for the Cougars. For the West Side squad. Full court pressure once again by Gary West. Rao handles the pressure, dribbles all the way, puts up the layup too hard. She's fouled. Rao at the line to shoot two. It's three fouls now on Jarek and Neal, and we'll have a substitution coming up for the Cougars. Free throw by Lauren is good. Three points for Lauren. Back to a 10 point lead for the Trojans. Jay Lynn Parker checks in for the Cougars. As Rao prepares for the next free throw. Misses on the free throw. Gleesman pulls it down, had it pecked loose. It's now loose on the floor. Rao picks it up around the perimeter, back to Gleesman, and she scores. Yeah, great great hustle by Gleesman and Lauren Rao to get it back to Gleesman, and a great move down low. Gleesman with eight points in a grow by 12, 40, 28, 50 seconds to play here in the opening half. Rao putting pressure on the ball. Shot down the lane is missed on the rebound. Jalen Parker falls to the floor and call for traveling. Great hustle play by Parker, but uh, just lost her balance as she came down with the rebound. Called for the travel violation. Full court pressure, entry pass stolen away. It was knocked loose by Dana Evans and Dana steps on that far sideline out of bounds. So. Trojans will maintain possession. She is so quick, you have to know where she is all the time. Lauren Rao across the midcourt stripe. Gleesman out on top, Wentland. Center Grove could go for one shot of the quarter. They lob it into the high post to Gleesman. She wasn't ready for the pass. Taken away by the Cougars. Gary Westside scoring quickly. Jay Lynn Parker gets her first basket. 40 to 30, 14 seconds to go. See if Center Grove can get a good look here in the last 10 seconds. Gleesman sets a pick. Are they going to put an illegal screen on Gleesman? Yes, they are. Referees, they love to make that call. If it's not a quality pick, they love to make that call. A yeah, tough call, too, because now had a chance to go back up by 12 or 13, and now they have a chance to cut it to single digits, which will give Gary West some momentum if they can pull this off heading into the locker room. Six <laughs> seconds to play in the opening half. They flip it back, a long three by Evans, and got it. She spins it in. She hits the three. Wow. She can hit him from deep. We saw her do it earlier today against Heritage Christian, and she hit that one, gosh, between the circles. Yeah, with, you know, with 6.3 seconds, you got to think Center Grove's going to put a little pressure, and they didn't. They let him roll it in, and you got to think Dana Evans is going to shoot it, and she did, and she knocked it down and made Center Grove pay. Trojans lead by seven points here at intermission against Gary Westside in the Hall of Fame Classic Consolation game. We'll take a break and be back for their halftime show. This is Center Grove Trojan Basketball. For just 2% of a typical school's budget, high school sports give us plenty of energy and excitement. For just 2%, they also give us young people whose leadership and commitment to excellence will pay big dividends in our community for years to come. 2%, that's one investment we can all feel good about. High school sports, pure spirit, pure sport, pure launching pad for life. Where's the best place to get answers about your water? 
Aquasystems, the home water experts. Since 1959, Aquasystems has been manufacturing and installing top quality water softeners, drinking water systems, and whole house filtration systems for even the toughest water issues. Stop by anytime to get your water tested free and learn more about how we can help you have better water. If you need bottled water or salt delivered to your home or office, we do that too. Mention this ad and get a special discount. And most importantly, go Trojans! Welcome back to the Fieldhouse here at Newcastle High School. Kevin Conrad, Brent Nickerson with you for the 2014 Hall of Fame Classic consolation game between the Center Grove Trojans and the Gary Westside Cougars. And here at intermission, the Center Grove Trojans lead it by 7, 40 to 33. And Brent, the Trojans, uh, majority of that first half enjoyed a double-digit lead, but the Cougars, as we saw earlier today against Heritage Christian, don't count them out. Uh, they were able to rally from double-digit deficit earlier today to make it real close against Heritage Christian, and they're doing the same here in the consolation game with Center Grove. Yeah, and it's the same three girls, Amari Ferguson, Dana Evans, and Lexus Fox, and doing a lot of the scoring for Gary West Side. And, a, you know, a tough call and an illegal screen with 10 seconds to go, or 6.2 seconds to go, excuse me, and Gary West Side came down and made him pay for it, and Center Grove didn't pressure the ball. Um, and, and it cost them again, 40 to 33. Center Grove still enjoys the lead, but they gave up 25 points there in the second quarter. Can't be too happy with that. Big shot by Dana Evans to close out that first half. Uh, again, it was a long one. She likes to shoot the long threes, but uh, good job in how they executed that long three. She was wide open, and yeah. uh, I think she has nine points here at halftime. So she's just starting to, to heat up. She's a fantastic sophomore, averaging 21 and a half points a ball game. And Brent did some research earlier, and uh, ESPN uh, has her listed as what, number one for her age group in the nation. Yeah, number one in the class of 2017 and number 12 overall, number one point guard and number 12 overall. So you have to know where she is all the time. And, you know, you might watch this and think that this is uncommon for her to shoot it that far outside the arc, but we saw it this morning too. It's not uncommon. She pulls it up and shoots it from about anywhere. Center Grove off to a fantastic start in the first quarter, led 24 to eight, put up 24 points when Center Grove scored, struggled to score in the first game today, only scored 42 points in four quarters, had 24 in the opening quarter tonight against Gary Westside. In the second quarter, though, a much different story. The uh, Cougars outscored the Trojans 25-16 to cut that deficit down to seven here at intermission, 42-33. And Brent, how about the individual scores from the first half? Yeah, we'll start off with Gary Westside. Nine points, as you said, from Dana Evans. Uh, two points from Jerrica Neal. Ashley Danzi had two points, as well as Jalen Parker. Lexus Fox with six points, and they were led in scoring by Amari Ferguson, who had 12 points. And as we said, she had 18 in the morning game, so she can put it in the basket. She led them with 12 points, uh, totaling 33. For Center Grove, three points for Cassidy Harden on a three-point basket. Lauren Rao also has three points. Eight points for Brianna Gleesman. Ten points for Reagan Wentland, and Center Grove was led in scoring all a lot of them early. 16 points from Jessica Norris. Again, the halftime score 40 to 33 in favor of the Trojans. Jessica Norris, great start first quarter. Hot as a firecracker. She had 16 here at intermission, but uh, had a fantastic first quarter. 13 of those in that opening quarter, and that's what Center Grove needed. Needed somebody to get him on track offensively, and she uh, was hitting some threes from the perimeter. I think she has three threes here at halftime, and all those coming in that first quarter. Yeah, and you got to think, like, like we said, we were hoping they would take the ball to the basket a little bit more in the second game, and they've done that, which created some kick-out passes and, and some driving lanes were open, and they took advantage of them, got some easy layups and some three-pointers on some kick-outs. So uh, pretty good game plan for Center Grove. They just kind of let it go there at the end of the first half, but still enjoy a seven-point margin. Halftime score, 40-33 Trojans by seven. Again, they let that double-digit lead slip away. Gary Westside, they'll stay with it. They'll compete all the way to the very, very end. So this is uh, far from over, that is for sure. Yeah, this is a good program. If you look at the stats and stuff, you know, we don't hear a lot about Gary Westside being all, all the way from up north, but um, Coach obviously has a ton of wins in his 31 years and 488 at the school. But since 2000, 2001, they have the fourth best 
winning uh, percentage in Indiana, excuse me, fourth best amount of wins since 2000, 2001 with 268 wins. So, I mean, it's a good program. So, Center Grove's had their handful here in the second half. Brent, we're pretty impressed by the halftime yeah, entertainment. I'm trying uh, to watch that and talk to you at the same time. They got quite a show here at halftime. And yeah, we got to see them practicing a little bit during the, the intermission. And they're pretty impressive. This right here is very impressive. Spinning the ball and uh, just doing all kinds of things with the basketball. A very uh, acrobatic and very impressive performance here at halftime of the consolation game. Center Grove again by seven at halftime. Championship game tonight should be a good one. Heritage Christian undefeated, ranked number three in the state, number one in Class 2A, taking on the Mooresville Pioneers. And Mooresville makes you play kind of ugly at times. Uh, sure did make Center Grove look ugly at times in the uh, day game. Again, they really D you up. Uh, it's just impressive defense and uh, I think for Mooresville that uh, they're going to have to really rely on the defense to slow down Heritage Christian because Heritage Christian, very, very impressive. They are with very the deep. Yeah, I was looking at the stat from their game this morning. They had four girls in double figures, and three more had nine points. They almost had seven girls in double figures. So uh, Mooresville is going to have to bring it on defense, but it's going to be a tough task. Heritage Christian is very, very talented. making its third appearance in the Hall of Fame Classic with the girls' basketball program. Won it back in 1996, and Lady Trojans went on to win the state championship that year. Played here in 2000, runners-up in the 2000 Hall of Fame Classic, and now this season losing the day game, trying to finish strong, though, here in the consolation game. And again, Brent, that's not easy to play no. in a consolation game. Obviously, everybody wants a chance to play for the championship, but it uh, felt like the Trojans seemed very focused here in the first half and really competing hard. And again, uh, they've uh, had a tough road uh, losing three of their last four games. They played some really good teams, and I know they want to bounce back and get a, get a good win here in the consolation against Gary Westside. Yeah, I think, like, like we said earlier, I think it's about pride. There's a lot of fans here from Center Grove that made the trip uh, over from the south side. And uh, I tell you what, it was nice to see the boys basketball team here earlier. Um, I know they had practice in, in the session, in between sessions here at uh, Newcastle. Coton had his kids out practice, and it was good to see them come over. But there's a lot of red and black across the way, and I, I know Center, Center Grove wants to put on a good performance for them. So, so far, so good, 40 to 33, but they have some have a job to do here in the second half. Coach on did bring the varsity squad over and actually had about an hour or so to practice here on the uh, main court here at the field house. Again, Coach Han went to high school here and had a great basketball career, won the state championship in 2006 at 3A state championship. So it's really a lot of history here at Newcastle. You walk around the field house, you see over to our left, you know, Mr. Basketball, Steve Alford, 1983, and Kent Benson, Mr. Basketball. 1973 and then you go over to the right side of the field house and uh, you know some information about the field house itself it's uh, about 9300 what it seats and it was built in 1959 and uh, it's just a lot of history here uh, with the uh, Newcastle field house yeah it's just a cool place a sunken gym old school uh, I, I think we are looking at the history of the field house and nine of the top ten uh, I guess seating numbers um, our gym's from Indiana, and it's pretty cool. I think there's one from Dallas, Texas. But we are playing in, here in the in the largest gym, high school gym in the world, which is pretty neat. It's a lot like Center Grove's West Gym, except yeah. about four times bigger. Yeah. yeah, that's what we were talking about. It reminds us of the gym at University of Indianapolis and a little bit of South Fork kind of as well. But University of Indianapolis and our West Gym at Center Grove. But it's just a big place and, and, and pretty cool to play here. Both teams have returned to the court, warming up, preparing for the second half. Trojans by 7, 40-33. It'll be interesting to see what adjustments each team makes here for the second half. Center Grove again had a fantastic first quarter, outscoring the Cougars 24-8. to But then the west side, though, bounced back that second quarter, outscoring the Trojans 25-16.
Our second half being presented by MyOrthoTeam.com. MyOrthoTeam.com is committed to providing their patients with complete orthopedic care. From your initial visit through your rehabilitation to your return to normal activities, MyOrthoTeam.com is on your team. Contact MyOrthoTeam.com at 888-PAIN. My Ortho Team is your Southside Sports Medicine Specialist. No foul trouble for anyone on Center Grove. Three for Jerrick and Neal for Gary Westside, but she is the only player in the game with more than two fouls. To start the third quarter, Center Grove going back with its original starters, Norris, Wentland, Gleesman, Rao, and Line. For Westside, original starters. Evans, Neal, Ferguson, Danzy, and Fox. Let's see if Center Grove can come out with the same energy they did to start the game. It'd be, be huge if they could. They're going right down to Alexis Fox. Triple teamed, and she throws it away. Well, you great, can see the game plan already. Great help defense on Fox. Probably saw the game plan from both teams. Fox gets it. You double, triple team, and they want to get it to her. First possession for the Trojans. Line, bounce pass. Wentland knocked out of bounds by Fox. Norris got the Trojans going in the first quarter. Let's see if they can try to set her up for some good looks. They got her some really good looks in that first quarter. Behind a three-point arc. Norris, deep left corner. Good job by the Cougars to cover her up pretty quickly. That was Danzy to cover her up. Back door cut. They pass it to Wentland. Reverse layup. Oh, she just missed it. That's a good play. Another back door cut. Good find. She just missed it. Pass to Fox. She couldn't handle it. Came in a little high from Evans on the pass. Out of bounds. Otherwise, Fox would have scored easily. Two possessions, two turnovers for Gary Westside. Fox gets it inside. She knows how to finish. Leesman, they find her going to the basket and scoring. Yeah, good pick and roll move there with Jessica Norris and Norris founder for a layup. 42-33, Center Grove. First basket of the second half going to the Trojans, and now Norris comes up with a steal, and then she's tied up by Fox. Arrow says it belongs to Center Grove. Yeah, another turnover by Gary Westside. Seven minutes to go. Third quarter, Lady Trojans lead by nine. Coach Fisher doesn't go too deep on the bench. We'll see how Westside holds up here in the second half. Oh, another nice give to Gliz uh, Bree Gleesman. That came from Wentland with a nice pass and a quick timeout called by Coach Fisher. Gleesman, a couple of quick baskets, 12 points in the ball game. 44-33, Trojans by 11 points. And again, a quick timeout call by Rodney Fisher in his 31st season at Gary Westside. This is a full timeout. I love the fact that they're attacking the basket and, and cutting to it. And earlier they settled, and like I said, credit to Mooresville, but earlier they settled for perimeter shots. I think they took 28 two-point field goal attempts and 26 three-point field goal attempts. And it's been a little bit different here this afternoon or this evening, excuse me. And, Paying off for Center Grove. Gleesman's been the beneficiary of, of, of several nice passes. And, I mean, she's up to 12 points now. So 44 33 lead uh, for Center Grove. Coach Fisher, third win as coach in Indiana High School girls basketball. 607 wins. 76% winning percentage. Had a chance to talk to him a little bit before tonight's game. Really has this team prepared for this Hall of Fame Classic. On paper, the uh, truest underdog of all four teams, but again, representing themselves very well against Heritage Christian and competing really hard here against Center Grove in the consolation game. Yeah, we said. Gary Westside had a, a great win percentage since 2000, 2001. Heritage Christian actually leads at 82% with wins. So missed three there by Gary Westside and rebound by Alley Line Center Grove. Lauren Rao, crossover dribble, picks it up at the free throw line. To line, back to Rao. 6.20 to play, third quarter. 
Center Grove leads it 44-33. Norris, pass, tipped and stolen away. Ferguson with the steal, trying to get the layup, missed it. Line with the rebound, outlet pass to Rao. Norris, catch. They're making her put the ball on the ground now. They're not letting her catch and shoot. She hit three threes that way in the first half. Gleesman in the middle to Wentland. She'll drive baseline, powers it up, left it short. Rebound Fox. Bounce pass, Ferguson, pull up, jump shot is good. She can shoot it. 14 points for Ferguson. First basket. Is that second? Yeah, first basket for the third quarter here for the uh, West Side squad. Center Grove by nine points. Catch and shoot by Norris. Left it short. Outlet pass. Neal, her layup is no good. Alley line back for the rebound. Yeah, Lauren Rao did a good job of hustling back and just distracted her enough to help her miss that layup and rebound by Alley line. Rao sets up the offense to Gleesman. Wentland, line now on the baseline, back out on top. Rao sets the feet, fires a three. Long with the three, long rebound, saved Great by Line. Great hustle by Alley Line. Norris sets the feet and drills the three. Well, Her credit, first basket. <laughs> yeah, credit that basket to Alley Line with the hustle on the rebound. First basket for Norris here in the second half. She has 19 points for the game. 47-35, Center Grove with a 12-point advantage. 4.38 to play in the third, and foul called against Alley Line. That's going to be number three on line. Danzi's first free throw is good. Three for three on the night, three points. Allie Line gets her first break here in the second half. Next one also good by Danzy. 10 point lead for the Trojans. Harden just checked in, swishes a three. Cassidy Harden, couple of threes for six points. Left her all alone and she made him pay. A missed shot by the Cougars, a quick shot. Center Grove, errant pass by Rao, trying to lob it down low to, I think it was Norris, the uh, Intended receiver on that one. And they had a five on four because Amari Ferguson had fallen down here on her layup attempt and hadn't got back up and gotten back down court, but they throw it away. 50 to 37 lead though for the Trojans. Center Grove zone defense, two, three. And now it flattens out more like a three, two. Evans penetrates and splits the defenders and scores 11 points for Dana Evans. Trojans by 11, 50, 39, 340 to play here in the third quarter. Gleesman, cross court pass, wide open, Cass Harden swishes, another three. Nine points all behind the arc for Harden. Yeah, left her open twice, and like I said, she's made him pay. Evans loses it, Lauren Round knocks it away. Power move by Fox, missed it. On the rebound, a loose ball, jump ball. Cougars have it. Arrow says it belongs to the Cougars with 3.24 to play in the third. 53-39. Center Grove in front off the out-of-bounds play. They throw it out on top to Fox. She'll drive to the basket, and she's called for palming the basketball. Yeah, she kind of took it up a little too high, so good call there by the ref. Jarek and Neal will check back in for Gary Westside, replacing Fox. Three fifteen to play, third quarter. Center Grove controlling the game, leading 53-39. Gleesman, left wing, puts it on the floor, cross court pass to Rao around the perimeter quickly, pull up jump shot by Great Whitland. Ball is movement. Good. Real good ball movement. Yeah, very good ball movement by Center Grove. 
Wendland, 12 points. Center Grove by 16, 55-39. Another loose ball. Rao gets on the floor, ties up Neal. Center Grove ball. Possession Center Grove. Good hustle. They're getting on the floor very well. Center Grove starting to win those uh, hustle plays. Yeah, the 50-50 balls are going our way, which is good to see in the second game of a doubleheader. Center Grove a little bit more of a bench. Played the first game today. I think the, this seemed a little bit fresher at this point than uh, West Side. Entry pass to Gleesman. She's hammered. Gleesman going to the line to shoot two. Good entry pass by Wentland. Fouls of number 10, Shayana Johnson. Gary Westside, that is her first. Team first. Free throw, no good by Gleesman. One more for the senior. Got it. Got it. 13 points. Gleesman's played very well here this evening. She's driving to the basket and making some solid cuts, and they're finding her, and she's getting near the line. Center Grove's largest lead of 17 points. A deep three by Ashley Danzig, her seventh point of the night, 56-42. Another There's nice back door. back door pass to, to Harden, and Harden tried to reverse layup, could not finish. But a great pass, and, and now Evans gets in trouble. Trying to do some dribbling here on the high left side. Had it knocked away by Rao and that last touched Evans. Yeah, Evans has 11 points, but uh, she's had a tough, tough evening so far. And she uh, commits a uh, frustration foul there on Lauren Rao trying to get the, get the ball back for Gary Westside. Her third. Now that's a big foul for Gary Westside. inbounds pass they go to Rao and Evans almost committed her fourth foul this time she was able to avoid the contact Harden to Gleesman Gleesman's pass to the post knocked out of bounds by Danzy substitution for the Trojans utter back in for Gleesman Grove has a smaller, quicker lineup in right now. Deep right corner, three for Norris. Short, rebound Danzy. Danzy, good speed in the open court. Fouled by Lauren Rao. Lauren tried to slow her down. Made contact with her. First foul against Lauren Rao. Two team fouls against the Trojans. Having problems getting the ball in bounds. She throws it right at Norris, trying to knock it off her leg. She could not get it in bounds. That was Ferguson, and Center Grove makes him pay. Cass Harden, another three. She's yeah, hit four of them. She is feeling it right now. A good pull up and another quick turnover by Gary Westside. 17 point lead. Westside just uh, not in sync. Again, I think some fatigue really yeah, they look tired. starting to set in here against Westside, playing two games in one day. Of course, they played the second game today, so not as much rest, and they don't go quite as deep on the bench as Center Grove. Another three, Norris. good. Norris, 22 points for Norris. Center Grove. Nine three-pointers between by Norris and Harden. Center Grove by 20 points, 62-42. Foul by Cassidy Harden. Her first three team fouls against Center Grove. Danzi was in the act of shooting at the free throw line to get a couple of free tries. She's four for four today, seven points. First one, no good. If you just look at the body language of Gary Westside now, hands on knees, looking down, hands on the hips. Not what Coach Fisher wants to see right now. Low Masters in for the Trojans. Lauren Rao gets a breather. Next one good by 
Ashley Danzy. That will be four, I believe, on Jerrica Neal. Four fouls on Neal. She will leave the ball game. Fox back in. Yep. West side crowd, very, very quiet to our left. Center Grove with a commanding 62-43 lead. Down to the last 45 seconds of the third quarter. And travel called against the Trojans. Jessica Norris on the takeoff, traveled. Again, we know this West Side team, at least during the day game, uh, down by a lot. Lost by four against Heritage Christian, but uh, again, yeah. at the moment, they just don't seem to have the same energy and enthusiasm yeah. they had in the day game. They expended a lot of energy in that fourth quarter alone against Heritage Christian, but the whole game it was a tough game against Heritage Christian. They fought their way back, lost by four, but they just looked tired tonight. Evans driving to the basket, able to draw contact from Wentland. Three fouls against Wentland, four team fouls against the Trojans, and Evans will get two free throws. She's two for two here in this game. 11 points. Free throw good. Her free throws look very good. 78% shooter on the year. 12 points now for Evans. With a second free throw coming up. This time she catches the rim, no good. Wentland with the rebound. Wentland, baseball pass underneath to a wide open Norris. She missed the shot the first time, tries it again, misses on the second try, and then finally ripped out of there by Evans. Good Cross luck. court pass to a wide open Fox who scores her eighth point. Good luck there by Evans on a no look pass. Five seconds to play in the quarter. Catch and shoot, three on the way, switch. Nice shot by Allison Utterback on the three-pointer. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. 65-46. The Center Grove Trojans lead it. After three quarters here in the consolation game of the 2014 Hall of Fame Classic at the Newcastle Fieldhouse. Center Grove really lining it up from three-point range. Yeah, they have, what, 10 three-pointers now on that Allison Utterback three to end the quarter. And like I said, nine already going into the to that shot by Harden uh, and Norris. Norris with five and Harden with four. Now Utterback has one. So shooting it well, but they also are, like, like I've said time and time again this evening, they're driving it well and, and having the kick-out look. So good game plan this evening by Center Grove, and it's working right now up by 19 starting the fourth quarter. Center Grove outscored West Side 25 13 in the third quarter. In front 65 46. But you got to keep your foot on the gas pedal. Again, Heritage Christian against West Side trying to spread the court open in that fourth quarter, tried to run some clock, and that allowed the Cougars to get back into it, made it interesting. Still lost by four, but uh, the Trojans, let's see if Coach Sanders keeps the foot on the gas pedal or if they elect to spread things wide open here on the offense to try and run clock, we'll see. Yeah, they outscored Heritage Christian 21 to seven in the fourth quarter, so they won't go away quietly. We'll see what happens here in the fourth. Gary Westside ball to start. They go right to Evans, drives baseline, kick out to Ashley Danzy. She'll go strong to the basket, draws contact. She'll get two shots, foul against Gleesman. They'll put that one on Wentland instead, and that's number four on Reagan Wentland. Free throw is good by Ashley Danzy. All right, I'm confused on the foul numbers. I have her for four as well. It's showing three on the scoreboard. Both of us have, have her for four, so now they now they do change it. Four fouls on Wentland. Yeah, Reagan with four fouls. Danzy misses on the next free throw. The alley line chases the rebound down, and Lauren Rao will take it the other way for Center Grove. 65-47 Trojans. 
getting things underway here in the fourth quarter. Reach in foul against Johnson, her second. 14 fouls against the Cougars. Line will throw it in on the far sideline. Throws it to Rao. It's being guarded by Johnson. To line, back out on top, wide open. Norris for three, switch. 25 points for Norris. 68-47 Trojans. Senator doing a great job of finding the open shooters, and they are knocking them down tonight. Ferguson misses the three. Gleesman with the rebound, fouled. Seven seventeen to play in the fourth. Senegrove with a commanding 68-47 lead. Brown doing a good job handling the ball. Distributes the ball well. Leesman drives baseline. Her bounce pass to the corner on that far side. Knocked out of bounds. Tried to find uh, Norris. Yeah, I think she thought Norris was going to come to the basket and made a good pass. And uh, Gary Westside just recovered and knocked it away. Cass Harden throws it in. Wetland had the ball knocked away. Senator Grove, Senator Grove will throw it in once again. Coach on and the Senator Grove boys team back in action tomorrow night at home against Greenwood. The annual Christmas dance at halftime with the football players and cheerleaders. Always a special treat. That'll be tomorrow night when Senator Grove hosts Greenwood at 730. And how about Cass Hart? Another three. Yeah. Man, Between she's on Norris, fire. They are on fire. And fifth three of the game, 15 points now for Cassidy Harden. Deep three by Evans. And she Nothing missed. Nothing but the backboard. Yeah, she missed everything. Hit the side of the backboard. Senegal with the rebound, leading 71 47. Six and a half minutes to play in the game, and Gleesman's pass stolen by Evans. Evans, nice pass with the left handed layup Good is Ferguson. Ferguson. 16 points for Ferguson. 71 49 Trojans. Rao pulls it out with the dribble. Fox and Evans get a lot of the attention here for Gary Westside, but quietly Amari Ferguson has had a great game or great day, 18 and 16 in this one, 18 this morning. Rao tried to do a shovel pass to Gleesman. Gleesman not expecting the pass. And down the lane, Ferguson. Nope, that's going to be Evans, I should say. She's found. A couple of free throws for Dana Evans. She has 12 points in the ball game. She averages 21. I don't believe she's Harden. taking a break, has she, Evans? She played 32 minutes this morning, and I don't think she's come out of this game. She's got to be exhausted. Free throw is good. The way she runs the court, she looks like a track runner to me, so uh, very fast, very quick. Timeout called following that made free throw by Evans. Timeout called. It's a 30-second timeout by Center Grove head coach Sean Sanders. Center Grove this year winning the Johnson County Tournament Championship. Obviously wanted to try to win this Hall of Fame, will not. And uh, the next big thing to look at uh, will be the sectional. Uh, Center Grove with one loss in the mid-conference to Pike will need some help to, to have a chance at that uh, conference title. You got Lawrence North undefeated, Pike undefeated, and Center Grove with one loss. Yeah, they're going to need some help. They're going to need those two teams to beat each other up and hopefully win out and see if everybody can win the conference championship with one loss maybe. I don't know, but yeah, they, need, they do need some help from Pike and Lawrence North to beat each other up. Yeah, and Center Grove still has to play Lawrence North. Yeah. They're the number two ranked team in the state. It's really good to see Center Grove's performance here tonight because I know it would be a long trip home if they come down, you know, come to Newcastle with the Hall of Fame Classic and, and lose both. And I know they didn't want to do that, and they've bounced back really well here in the second game. Dana Evans will be at the line when we go back to action, shooting one more. Made the first one. 13 points for Evans. Only a sophomore. She's solid. She's very solid. 
Great athlete. Yep. Hits the free throw. I think in your research on Evans, also a very, very good student. Uh, I, I did not see that. I don't know if I saw that or not. That might have been you, but. Um, Wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. Three by Norris. Another one. Hits another three. 28 points for Norris. I don't know what her season or career high is, but she's got to be in the neighborhood of a career high with 28. Seven threes now? Is that what you have? I think so. Missed shot by the Cougars. Yeah, another miss by Evans. Rebound by Center Grove. 74 51, 520 to go. All Center Grove. Rao. The alley line, high right side, Center Grove. Being patient, but still looking to score. Three by Harden off the front of the rim, line with the rebound, they'll reset. Norris, Norris thought about it. She wanted yeah, it. Yeah, she drives to the basket. Easiest shot of the night for Norris. Yeah. She missed the layup. <laughs> she had a little bit of a smile following that missed shot. Out of bounds, Center Grove will maintain possession. Five minutes to play in the ball game. 74-51 all Center Grove here in the second half. At halftime, the Cougars got within seven, but uh, the Trojans have dominated the, the final two quarters. Reach in foul called against Evans. That's her fourth. Six team foul, so no free throws yet. A little give and go. Line tried to give it right back to Norris. Good job by the Cougars. They were able to steal the pass. Evans dribbling. Deep right corner, shot fake by Ferguson. She drives baseline, double team. Good job by Harden with the uh, defense on the baseline. Yeah, good deflection and moving her feet. Fall out of bounds, last touch the Trojans. Reagan Wentland will return for Center Grove, Reagan replacing Reagan alley line. Wentland playing with four fouls. Three for Fox goes, 74-54. Not the prettiest of shots, but it's effective. Trojans by 20, 74-54. 4.15 to play in the fourth. Fox going for it, trying to steal it from Wentland. Good job by Reagan to protect it. The miss shot by Gleesman, and they throw it up front to Fox. She missed the, the left-handed layup. So she's missed many layups today. She's been pretty effective around the basket. Yeah, she's a finisher. Again, fatigue might be setting in a little bit here on Fox and her teammates down the stretch. Leesman dribbling now to Lauren Rowell and reach in foul called against Amari Ferguson, her second foul. That'll be bonus now for the Trojans, their seventh foul. And Lauren Rowell will go to the free throw line shooting one on one. Lauren, one of two today from the free throw line. Three points in this ball game. Allison Utterback checks back in, replacing Jessica Norris. 28 points for the senior, Jessica Norris. Free throw is good by Rao. Hits both of them. Five points now for Rao, 76 to 54. Trojans commanding lead. Evans, another long three. Rattled out on the rebound. Rao got the rebound. Reach in foul call against Amari Ferguson, number three on Ferguson. Try to tie her up. I thought they might call jump ball, but they call a reach in foul. Yep, Rao will return to the free throw line. Another one and one. Low Masters in for Gleesman. Free throw is a swish for Lauren Rao. Great form on the free throw. Chrysler in for West Side. Free throw good again by Lauren Rao. 78-54. Center Grove leads it with 3.20 to play in the ballgame. 
Again, on deck will be the championship game. Heritage Christian against Mooresville. Runner in the lane, short by Fox, but it's put in by Chrysler, who just checked in. Center Grove going to play a little keep away now. Reagan Wintland lost her footing. They're going to call travel. She has lost her footing there. Turnover for Center Grove, 78-56, 2.54 to go. Shot from the perimeter, good. Dana Evans, a three-pointer. 17 points for Evans. Foul on that far side. The Masters had the ball knocked away. Reach in foul called against Westside. Uh, Mari Ferguson, I believe that'll be her fourth. Send Emma LaMasters to the line for one on one. LaMasters La looking for her first point. I don't believe she scored in the day game, did she? LaMasters? Um, I do not believe so. No, she did not. So it'd be good to see LaMasters get a point here in the Hall of Fame. Well deserved ovation for Lexus Fox. And Ashley Danzi is a check out of the ballgame. Low Masters hits on the free throw. One more coming for Low Masters. Next one rolls out. Harden tried to get the rebound out of bounds. It'll be west side ball and wholesale changes for Coach yep. Sanders. All five will check out. Great effort today by the Center Grove Trojans. Do you want to read off those substitutions <laughs> or you want me to try? I do see out Both there teams. Valerie Clark. Yep. Sydney Woodmancy, I believe, is in there. Right. Carly Harden. Carly Harden. Taylor Neff, maybe. Taylor in. Neff, number 20. And Madeline Bitterling, I believe, is in. Turnover by Gary West. Ball back to Center Grove. Two minutes and six seconds to go. 79-59 Trojans. Great to see everybody get a chance to play here in the Hall of Fame Classic. Very special honor to play in this tournament. Invite only. Yeah, I believe Gary West is going. West Side is going to do the same thing. I would imagine they'll pull Dana Evans out here shortly to give her a, an ovation as she comes out. Madeline. Bitterling fouled from behind. A chance for Bitterling to get a point or two. She'll go to the free throw line to shoot a couple. Amari Ferguson will foul out of the ball game with 16 points and 18 points in the in the morning game. So 34 points on the day for Amari Ferguson. A great day for her. I know she's frustrated, but very solid day for her. And Dana Evans checks out as well. 17 points in both games today. Bitterling's free, free throw, throw in and out. Oh, good try. Yeah. Got another try at it here. Try to get a point here. Free throw in the second try. Missed that one. Rebound. Neff gives it chase, but it's picked up by West Side. Final minute 40. Foul called against the Trojans. Neff gets the foul called against her. One and one for West Side. Carisha Moore at the line to shoot one in the bonus. Free throw short. Long rebound picked up by Johnson. For West Side and loose ball. We have a jump ball. It'll be center girl ball. Carly Harden on the ground to get the jump ball. 
And Jada Dixon will get her first action for Gary Westside. Good to see her get in the ball game. Number 31, freshman. Final 90 seconds of the consolation game. Center Grove by 20 points, 79-59. Valerie Clark picked up her dribble to Bitterling. Back to Clark. She'll try a three. No good. good Rebound. Shot. Just didn't go. Yep, good shot. On the baseline drive. Lost it was Moore. Went off one of the Trojan players. So with a minute five to play, West Side will have it on that far sideline. Nice crossover move and runner by Johnson. She missed it. They get it again, and now Johnson tripped up. Foul called against Valerie Clark. Foul number two, Valerie Clark, her first. Team foul number eight on Center Grove. Shane on the top, so that's on shooting one. Johnson looking for her first point. Free throw, in and out, no good. Rebound, Sydney Woodmancy for the Trojans. Final 45 seconds of the game. Woodmancy looks across court to a wide open Bitterling who Got hits it. the three. How many threes have the Trojans hit today? Five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, I believe. 14, and now a nice shot by Johnson scoring in the lane. She's fouled. Chance for an old fashioned three point play. 82 61 Trojans. 34 seconds to play and one shot for Johnson. Neff with her second foul. Free throw is good for Johnson. Cross midcourt is Clark to the baseline. Jump shot is missed by Neff. Rebound west side. Moore all the way, hammered from behind. She'll get two free throws. Foul called against Sydney Woodmancy, her first. Great to see uh, these underclassmen get a chance to play late in the ball game. Invaluable experience on the big stage here. Yeah, won't we'll get a chance to play in a gym like this and in a tournament setting like this. So it's good to see them get some action. First free throw is good by Fine. Moore. Yeah, Moore. First point of the night. This is the second. Rebound by Woodmancy. 12 seconds to play. Center Grove passing the ball around the perimeter. May be content just to let the clock run out. No more shot attempts. And that will be at 82-63. The Senegro Trojans defeat a very good Gary Westside team here in the consolation game of the Hall of Fame Classic. Senegro played much, much better here in the night game than they did in the day game against the Mooresville Pioneers. So they got to feel good about that going home tonight, that they did play much, much better here in the consolation game. What an effort by senior Jessica Norris, 20 Eight points for Norris. She really got things heated up in that first quarter. 13 of her 28 in that opening quarter. And then Center Grove just kept the foot on the gas pedal and just continue, continue to score throughout tonight's game. Very consistent scoring. And the Trojans will take third place here in the Hall of Fame Classic. 82-63, your final. Stay tuned. Coming up next will be our postgame show. This is Center Grove Trojan Basketball. Where's the best place to get answers about your water? Aqua Systems, the home water experts. Since 1959, Aqua Systems has been manufacturing and installing top quality water softeners, drinking water systems, and whole house filtration systems for even the toughest water issue. Stop by anytime to get your water tested free and learn more about how we can help you have better water. If you need bottled water or salt delivered to your home or office, we do that too. Mention this ad and get a special discount. And most importantly, go Trojans. Meet Tommy. Tommy's not sure which sport he will play in high school someday. But no matter what he ends up choosing, 
Playing sports in high school will help pave the way to a happier, healthier life. All Tommy needs to do is make up his mind. High School Sports. Pure spirit, pure sport. Pure launching pad for life. Welcome back to the Newcastle Fieldhouse. Kevin Conrad, Brent Nickerson with you on the postgame show. The Center Grove Trojans win in a very impressive fashion here in the consolation game against Gary Westside. 82-63 the final score. Center Grove now 10-3 on the season. Gary Westside with the loss falling to 7-5. And, and Brent, it was great to see the Trojans bounce back here in this consolation game because they had lost three of their last four games against very difficult competition and played much better here in the night game and uh, really uh, put it to Gary Westside. Again, Westside with five losses, but uh, very, very good opponent in Westside, but uh, Center Grove really put it together here in the consolation game. Yeah, they came out with a lot of energy and got off to a quick start. I know they were ahead 9-2, I believe, which is the exact opposite. They were down 9-2 this morning, so uh, tough game. Second game of a doubleheader. It was good to see them come out with energy and, and show some pride and, and, and take a victory back home to Center Grove with them. Jessica Norris, fantastic shooting performance tonight, 28 points. Probably a career high for Jessica. That was just impressive, 13 in the first quarter. She really got things going offensively for Center Grove. Yeah, she sure did, 28 points, but a lot of balanced attack. I think they have four girls in double figures, but there's the hot shooting of Norris and Cassidy Harden, and, and I believe Bree Gleesman was in double figures as well as Reagan Wintland. So pretty balanced attack, but obviously led by the senior and Jessica Norris, she had the hot hand. And Brent, how about the individual scores from tonight's consolation All right, game? We'll, All right, we'll start with Gary Westside. Three points from Shayana Johnson. Dana Evans had a tough night shooting, but ended up with 17 points. Carisha Moore had a point. Uh, Jerrica Neal, two. My Alicia Chrysler, two. Amari Ferguson had 16 points. Ashley Danzi, eight. Jalen Parker, two. And rounding out the scoring was Lexus Fox with 11. And for Center Grove, one point for Emma Masters. Three on a three-point basket by Allison Utterback. Seven points from Lauren Rao. Three points for Madeline Bitterling, the 5'8 sophomore. 13 points for Bree Gleesman. 12 points for senior Reagan Wintland. 15 points all on three-pointers for freshman Cassidy Harden with five three-pointers. And again, led by senior Jessica Norris with seven three-pointers and totaling 28 points on the night. So an 82-63 win for Center Grove. Brent, really appreciate your help today. Uh, always fun to do these uh, Hall of Fame Classic broadcasts. Uh, brings out a big crowd and great great teams and good basketball. And, uh, again, the Trojans didn't play so well during the, the day game, but, boy, they bounced back and look great here in the uh, consolation. And hopefully they can win, take something from this game and moving forward. Yeah, and I, I think it was just about energy. And they came out with just a little bit more than Gary Westside did, but again, hopefully they can can build on this heading into the stretch run and into the sectional finals. Brent, enjoy your weekend and uh, yeah, go Packers. There you go. <laughs> You're off to see yeah. the Green Bay Packers uh, for Sunday, right? That's right. Heading to Lambeau Field tomorrow. All right. Also, special thanks to a lot of people today. Sean Sanders, the head coach of the Trojans, the athletic department, John Zwid and Scott Knapp at Center Grove High School for all their help. Also, Brandon Ecker, the uh, athletic director here at Newcastle, really helping us out getting set up for our broadcast today. And also a big thank you to Chris May, the Hall of Fame director. Also a big uh, thank you to him. How about our production staff, Matt Murray, our executive producer and production assistant, Austin Tyke, helping out day after Thanksgiving. Really appreciate their efforts here as well. Again, the Center Grove Trojans lost the day game to the Mooresville Pioneers, 51-42. But here in the Constellation, bouncing back, with a big win, 82-63 over against Gary Westside. Center Grove now 10-3 on the season. For Brent Nickerson, this is Kevin Conrad saying so long, everyone, from the Newcastle Fieldhouse.